Welcome to EPG Patshala. Dear students, today we would be learning about urbanization in India. We would start with the introduction of what is urbanization, what is the share of urban population, what are the causes of urbanization in India and um, we would be then looking at the urbanization trends in India, comparing with the various cities, how uh, other um, cities in other countries, uh, what is the urbanization uh, trends like and then we would be coming to the urbanization trends across various cities in our country. Now coming to the share of urban population in India, the census of 2011 says that uh, it is about 31.16 percent that is about 377 million urban population. Now, and it is projected, UN has projected that they would have the largest increase in urban population between 2014 to 2050. And as we can see, what is uh, with the definition of urban, we see that there, there are various categories of urban uh, spaces and that is one is the census towns second is the statutory towns, third is the urban agglomeration and fourth are the outgrowths. Now census towns are those towns that qualify to become urban without any, specific, without any uh, local body which can provide facilities and services. So therefore these towns lack in provision, lack in guided development and therefore, but the, these census towns are those towns that have minimum population of 5,000, at least 75% of male main working population engaged in non-agricultural pursuits and a density of population of, of, of at least 400 persons per square kilometer. Whereas statutory towns are much better off in terms of that they have uh, urban local body either in terms of municipality or cantonment board or municipal corporation or notified town area committees. So coming to the uh, urban agglomeration, urban agglomeration is basically uh, when urban areas, contiguous urban areas are there. So therefore, urban agglomeration is defined as a contiguous or continuous urban spread constituting of a town and its outgrowths or two or more physically contiguous towns consisting of at least a statutory town and its total population should not be less than 20,000. And coming to the outgrowths, we see that outgrowth is a viable unit such as a village, a hamlet, an enumeration block, clearly identifiable in terms of its boundaries and location determined after ensuring that it possesses urban features in terms of infrastructure and amenities. Now about the urbanization trends in India. You can see from this graph that the, the share of urban population has increased over the years, over the decades and, um, has, and it is about 31.16 in 2011 but there was a dip due to the revising of the defining criteria in 1961. So this, is, this figure shows the urban population share. The main causes of urbanization in India has been the growth of private sector after 1990s, what we call as the era of globalization and migration, the increased migration from villages due to employment opportunities, due to um, various uh, facilities, due to quality facilities, various uh, uh, facilities in the educational sector, health sector, all, all various um, uh, other maybe uh, for shelter. So people have migrated mainly for, pri primarily for work opportunities and facilities. So therefore, their um, urbanization have increased and is steadily increasing. If we see the decadal increase uh, in urban population, we find that 
from 1901 to 1981, there was rapid increase in the share of urban population and the total urban population increased tenfold. But after 1981, there was decline in the decadal increase and relatively slow urbanization was noticed and the decadal increase in share of urban population from 2001 to 2011 was as low as 1.15 percent. You can see from this uh, graph the decadal increase in urban population and the growth rate of the urban population. Also our urbanization has been what we call it as a messy urbanization. Now in terms of that the housing market in India has not kept pace with the urbanization. There have been and it has resulted in inflated housing costs which ultimately harm the low income groups the most then, and it had resulted in development of informal settlements or slums. And about, as per census 2011, about 65.5 million Indians live in urban slums. And 13.7% of the urban population lived below the national poverty line in 2011. There was low employment generation. Between 1998 and 2005, manufacturing employment within 10 kilometers of the city centers declined by 16 percent in India's seven largest metropolitan areas that is Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Chennai, Hyderabad and Ahmedabad. The manufacturing employment in their immediate peripheries increased by al almost 12 percent. While urbanization has been growing, the economic development had not kept pace with the urbanization and it has there was rural urban rural to urban migration but the demand for labor in urban but the urban areas it was difficult for the urban areas to provide for all the migra all the people who are migrating and therefore there was informal sector which generated formal sector could not accommodate the uh, um, migrating population and that resulted in low wages in the informal sector there was also peripheral urban population growth. For major cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad and Kolkata, population growth has been fastest in their peripheries, in, in areas beyond their official administrative boundaries. So while the uh, areas under the urban local bodies, as compared to the peripheral, peripheral areas, we see that the peripheral areas have grown much higher than, much more than the areas within the urban local body for various metropolitan cities and mega cities. When we compare the, our, the country's trends, our countries or India's trends of urbanization trend with that of other countries that is Brazil and China, we see that the rural urban gap there is a distinct rural urban gap in our country and the urban growth and the rural growth has also been simultaneous whereas in brazil we see that uh, the there is urban growth but the rural population is stable and in china we see that there is urban growth but uh, rural population has also been stable and Regarding the number of large cities, it is stable in terms of Brazil. There have been tremendous increase in case of China. And in India also, there's a, it shows an in, there, there's an increase in the number of large cities. Now we come to the multi-city agglomerations. What are multi-city agglomerations? Multi-city agglomerations are, are continuous belt of urbanization contain, containing two or more cities each of which had a population of at least 1 lakh living within its administrative boundaries in 2010. And India has added seven multi-city agglomerations from 1999 to 2010 when it had about, about 30 of the 45 urban agglomerations. You can see from this map the, about the multi-city urban agglomerations. Now there is another phenomenon called hidden urbanization. Now what is hidden urbanization? We see that the share of India's population living in areas with urban-like features in 2010 
as recorded by the UN was 55.3 percent and the urban population share of just 31.16 percent was recorded as per the definition given by census 2011. So we can see that there is, there is what we call as a hidden urbanization. Though what is referred to is 31.16 but, but in, in terms of features, in terms of the characteristics we find that it is about 55.3 percent as per UN. Now what are the urbanization trends across Indian cities? You can see from this pie chart that various uh, which ha shows the about the mega cities, metropolitan cities, the class 1 cities, class 2 till class 6. You can see that the mega cities show about 3.99 percent or house about 3.99 percent of the urban population of our country whereas the metropolitan cities house about 43 percent followed by the class 1 cities which is about 25 24.55 percent and it decreases as we go down the city size classes that is class 2 houses about 8.68 class 3 about 11.3 class 4 about 6.2 class 5 over 2.1 and class 6 about 0.8 percent. So you can see that bit from class 1 cities onwards about 72 percent of urban population is, is housed in class 1 cities, metropolitan cities and mega cities total if we consider and all the cities from class 1 cities onwards houses about 72 percent of the Urban, total urban population and you can see from this bar chart uh, how what are these um, percentage of urban population in various city types uh, one can see that how much percentage of uh, urban population. So dear students today we have learnt about urbanization in India and about the characteristics of urbanization in India in terms of hidden urbanization, messy urbanization, about primacy, about multi-city agglomerations, about peripheral growth, about urbanization uh, at the national level, about urbanization for various cities, about the mega cities and how, how, much, how, that, how much urban population is housed in uh, the large cities from class 1 cities to the mega cities and uh, the, that means the concentration of urban population in these large size cities which largely or creates problems also opportunities as well as problems for the uh, for our countries for our inner country and for our cities thank you